do you have advice for young people in high school and college? You yourself started from the humble beginnings in Brazil, um, maybe a bit of a wild, risky decision to go to Japan, and now are at the head of one of the biggest, most successful, most impactful companies in the world. Given that story, can you give advice to young people today that you know how they can have a career or just a life they can be proud of? I think the first thing, and I'm, and of course, all of those answers are going to relate to my own experience, right? Um, the first thing is it always worked for me to have to have a plan, even if the plan is just what I'm going to do in the next two years. But what do I want to do? Where do I want to go? And uh, and I think it's important for people, especially young people, um, is is to really, you know have a dream and go pursue it. I mean, have dreams, not go back to bed to sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really what what do you want to accomplish and then what it's going to take to do that. And uh, and then believe in yourself. Um, you know, I, I like I said, I joined Qualcomm as an engineer. Um, and uh, I didn't have any plans when I joined uh, to be CEO, but I do want to, as an engineer, what do I wanted to do, what I, where, what I, what, where I want to contribute, what I wanted to work on, and then, and then, keep evolving from that point in time. The other thing is, this is an advice, it's more of like career advice that I got um, I got early in my career was extremely helpful for me. And I will give that advice to everyone that is interested. Um, spend time understanding what are, the, what are the things you're good at and what are the things you're not? Like, what is that real border between your area of competence and your area of incompetence? And once you see that, once you see that, you know exactly what you have to work on. And you can say, I can, if I, if that's what I want to go next, this is the gap I need to do it. And it's, it's, it's faster when you can identify yourself before other people can tell you then it leads to automatically the next step. Surround yourself with the people that are very good at the things that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be radically honest about the things that you're not good at, but given what you're passionate about, you need to get good at, or you would like to get good at, and surround yourself by those people. How often did the plans you make actually work out? So you said it's important to make plans. You didn't say anything about uh, it's important to execute on those uh, plans. More than 50% uh, success okay. rate. Try to keep it above 50. <laughs> Try to keep it above 50. <laughs> uh, what was the whole, why did you end up in Japan? You know, I've been uh, fortunate enough to work in cellular and wireless my entire career. So I I, I was like communications. Uh, when I entered engineering school, uh, my dad was an electrical engineer, but he worked with the utility company. He wanted to me to graduate in traditional electrical engineering, like how, in energy generation, distribution. Um, and But I like electronics communication, so I ended up doing both. And... Uh, and I always like communication, was fascinated by wireless communication. So my first job out of college, I started working for a Japanese company down in Brazil, uh, was NEC. And within about a year in, they transferred me to Tokyo, they asked me to go to their headquarters. And it was the first time I left uh, Brazil. And, a little uh, bit different from Brazil. Very culturally. different. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, in the other side of the planet. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and that's how it started. 